This is where most of the patients eat their meals. Some will eat in their room, but that's up to them. You're free to eat here as well. Lexi hands me a badge. This badge is your all-access key that allows you anywhere on the grounds. Also, you can use it to get meals. She shows me the library with the desks and computers which patients use, the PT room and the therapist's office, before going back to the lobby. There's an elevator behind the original staircase that we take up to the second floor. Up here, we have ten rooms and two more on the third floor. Lexi shows me an empty room. Each room is decorated differently and has its own bathroom. There's a staff bathroom on the basement level, where the offices and kitchen are. How many rooms are on the main level? Six. Each room is numbered. You'll mostly be visiting patients there. What we need is for you to keep them company, get them to their appointments, and help with that sort of thing. Always do as the nurses and doctors tell you. Don't get offended if patients don't talk to you or don't want to be around you. They're all in different stages of healing, Lexi says. When he first got here, my Easton didn't talk to anyone or even allow people in his room. Paisley says, just as a man with a dog walks up accompanied by Noah, he wraps his arm around Paisley's waist and pulls her in for a kiss. Even though my heart clenches, a smile. Another head-over-heels-in-love couple. Well, I'm happy for them. I can't help but wonder if I'll ever find that, too. This is my Easton, Paisley says. Easton nods but doesn't say anything. He's a tall man and all muscles. A dark beard covers his face as tattoos and scars cover his arms. You were a patient here? I ask him. He nods. I was a prisoner of war, and it took me a while to come back from that. Noah never gave up on me, even when I had given up on myself. Then in came Paisley, who was going to drag me kicking and screaming if she had to from isolating myself. Did she get a tour? Noah asks. Yep, we just finished. Lexi smiles up at him. So what do you think? Noah asks. This place is wonderful. I'm so happy to be here for the summer. I say. How do you feel about starting now? Lexi asks. Oh, I'd love to. Good. There's a guy in room three that I'd like you to sit with. He's healing well physically, but he's shut down and doesn't want to get better. Though he's in a wheelchair, he needs to learn to walk again. Finding someone to talk to would be a start, but don't push too hard. If you can figure out what's triggering him, then that would be a huge help. Lexi says, On it, I say, going down the hallway towards room three. I don't know what waits for me, but I just hope I can be of some kind of help.